Hey, Eric, how you doing? All right, thank you for uh, including your choices for the illustrative stamp series. Um, okay, a couple of things I wanted to address here. This, this kind of points to research a little bit, but we got to really think about some things here. So what does iconic American entertainer mean? All right, I see that you've kind of transposed this a little bit, and I think that this is maybe where we get some confusion because you're saying the following actors because of their iconic roles, okay, in arguably the best films of the 20th century. That's not what we're looking for. We're, we're not looking for actors who have played iconic roles. We're looking for iconic American entertainers. Those are entertainers who, you know, year after year put out big, huge movies. They're, they're household names. You can show a picture to someone on the street and they're going to say, oh, yeah, that's Jack Nicholson. Okay. Can we say that about Arlie? It's actually Ermy, by the way. If you take a look, that's spelled incorrectly. It's, it, here, let me show you. Ba, 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 our Arlie Ermey, right? Now, we all know that he's played many of these military roles, and he plays those roles actually quite nicely. But he is not an, he's not an American, a classic, iconic American entertainer. Um, he's not. I mean, if you show his, I mean, think about it. Think about it, what we're looking for. We're not looking for iconic roles. We're looking for iconic entertainers, okay? Um, I mean, it's nobody going to argue that Clint Eastwood is not an iconic American entertainer, right? I'm sure there's plenty that would argue that Arlie Ermey is not an iconic American <clears throat> excuse me, entertainer. I hope I'm making sense. I'm not trying to slam your choices. I just really want you to think this out, all right? Because you, the, 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 to the highest degree you can think this out, be assured that portfolio reviewers or at the time, when the time comes, hiring professionals look at this work, they're going to see these things. They're going to, they're, they're going to, to comment to themselves, whether they do it in the interview process or to themselves as mental notes, these questions will come up. All right. Jack Nicholson in The Shining. No arguing there. That's as classic and iconic as they come. Same thing that can be said for Tim Curry in Rocky Horror as Frank and Furter. However, again, pointing to research, Tim Curry is not an American entertainer. He's an Englishman, so, so he can't be used. Okay, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Schrode. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, think, I think that's, again, another classic classic uh, indication of, of an American entertainer. So um, my two in question are, are, are Lee Ermey and, Tim, and uh, Tim Curry can't be used, and I would highly recommend replacing him with a more iconic entertainer. All right. Um, hey, man, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, and it looks like you've, you've, you've elected to depict all four in the stamp series as actors in, in – um, in their role, in a role that they're playing, as opposed to depicting the actor. So you're going to be depicting Jack Torrance as opposed to Jack Jack Nicholson, right? That makes sense, right? All right. So other than that, great job. Um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know before we continue in this process. Because I'd like to get everything clarified before we move to the next stage in the process, which, of course, is the begin stage, which is due this Sunday. So if you have any questions, please, please be sure to let me know. Thank you very much, Eric.